Ah, oh, dinky do, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live. Sunday night, nine o'clock sharp. Nothing gets past me, you see. And here we are for one hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment, not just for one nation, but, of course, for all nations throughout the world. Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with me. And we've lots and lots to talk about tonight, so don't muck about don't waste any time. Let's get on with it. Serious chit-chat, big style. Very, very important. Scotty McClue, live just for you, saying dinky-doo. And we are on Facebook Live, and it promises to be an absolutely superb show. We need to get our shares in, of course. So we'll be sharing, and sharing, and sharing, and sharing throughout the evening. But nothing new in that. That's what we've always done. That's the secret. Evening, says Colin Roger. Good evening to you, Colin. Ryan Doc. Scotty, hi Scotty. Evening Scotty from the nation of Edinburgh, says David Fraser. And Bergin, Arnie Bergin, I beg your pardon, Arnie, dinky do, lovely to tell us hello. Hello to you, Arnie. And uh, Ryan Doherty from Greenock, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, of course. Scotty McClue with you for one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. Now, dinky do, Scotty, how are you this week, says Stephen Wearmouth. Aye, aye, Scotty, says Andrew Gill, David Smythe. Hola! Obviously a touch of the Spanish in him there. Tremendous stuff, you can't beat it. Dinky do, and hello to you, Scotty, says Brian Keswick, live on Facebook. Hi, Scotty from Kirkcaldy, for the long tune, for a Scott wish up there. Who kens a boy, who kens a boy, who kens somebody else, for Kirkcaldy. And uh, Paul Kyra, dinky do, good evening, Scotty, says George McFarlane, and Jim McGeary. Hi, Scotty. Lovely to have you all with us. Good evening, Scotty. This is tremendous, guys. Andrew Mackay watching. Gary, it's very snowy in Glen Boyg, says Gary Stewart. Do you know, Gary, when I ever hear Glen Boyg, I think of some Highland Glen, some special whiskey, the Glen Boyg. Good evening, Scotty, says Andrew Mackay. All right, he's dinky do, says Jav Salim. Lovely to have you with us. Now, what a week it has been. I want to hear all about your week live on Facebook. That's what the Scotty McClue Show is about. It's not about me. It's about you. That's what it's all about. And uh, Peter Martin, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, of course. And excellent stuff. Let's hope the broadcast holds out tonight. Has the milk and breed truck reached you yet, says George McFarlane. Now, part of our chat tonight is do we actually need milk and bread? I noticed this week of the greedies were out emptying the shelves. Although some said it's not just the greedies that the shelves weren't full <coughs> pardon me in the first place. Good evening, big chap. Says Aldi, good evening to you, Nick. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, Scotty, says Peter Martin. Tremendous welcome. So do let me know what you think. Now the old messenger is on there. If any of you got a message from Scotty talking about some prize or something like that. Just ignore it. Block it. All right. It's a duffer. Uh, are you taking calls this evening, says Andrew McKay? I am, Andrew. So if you would like to call me on Messenger, I do think we're all set up. I seem to think everything is set up, yes. So we should be all right, and we should be able to take your call on Messenger. Sorry, looking away there. Just checking the equipment. Never seen anything like it in work. Worse than Christmas and New Year, says Jav Salim. Hello, hello from East Coast Bride Taxi Owners Association. James and Lindsay say, dinky do. James Bauer there. We like to do a wee commercial for the East Coast Bride Taxi Owners Association. They work so hard. My mother didn't need bread, Scotty. She'd just make her own. Mine, she needed the flour and the yeast. Well, you need the yeast. To make it rise, as they say, Stephen. Um, and who have we got here? Steve Burrows. Who's for a cup of tea? Oh, sorry. Who's for the cup, Scotty? Celtic or Rangers? <laughs> I said who's for a cup of tea there. Who is for the cup, Celtic or Rangers? Feel free to let me know. We're not really a football phone in, but we do discuss everything on here. Hello from Greenwich, says Sophie Cameron. Hello, Sophie. And dinky do to you. I say, God and Elric's watching. Scotty, would it be true to say the farmers are told if they decide to clear the roads that they're liable for any damage? Do you mean the farmers are liable for any damage to the road surface? 
because I was having a suggestion with a gentleman on Facebook this week, you probably saw it, we were talking about why do trucks not wear snow chains? Why don't they put the snow chains on? They used to put on, my uncle drove a bus, but that was in 1928, and they used to put the snow chains on at the bottom of the old rest and be thankful, and take them off at the top. But he was telling me that snow chains are apparently illegal in this country. Is this true? Hello, Scotty. I apologise for being late. I was making bread there, says Rab. Rab, absolutely. You, you need your dough, I say. Uh, Martin Monaghan, dinky do to you. Come and join us. Callum Murray says, hi, Scotty. Hi, Callum. Lovely to have you with us. Let's have a few thumbs up and a few hearts. And remember, television's off, nine o'clock sharp. Scotty McClue is here, and uh, far, far more interesting. And uh, there's Nina saying, dinky do, dinky do to you. Evening, Scotty. I just finished clearing the railway, says Stephen Mingus now. Stephen Mingus, or Stephen Menzies. Which should I call you, Stephen? I think you put me right before. Uh, can I call you Menzies just now? And you can tell me if it's Mingus. You've done a fantastic job. Please, please, please say a very big thank you on behalf of a grateful nation to all your colleagues who have been clearing the snow. Because I know on the railways that when you've cleared the track, the, the drifting snow gets blown back on. So dinky do, says Ron. I love you, says Nina. Thank you, Nina. Alan Brown's watching from America. Lovely to have you with us from Washington, D.C. Uh, Scotty, we're not just geared up for snow. If it wasn't for the Gulf Stream, this would be our weather for a good three or four months of the year, says Stephen. Is that right, Stephen? Now, that's very interesting. The Gulf Stream, of course, brings that little bit of warmth in. But I can remember when I was a child some very, very severe winters and terrific flooding in Kent. I think it was in 1952 or 53. Terrific flooding. <clears throat> uh, people lost their lives, bless them. Uh, a big well done to Stephen Menzies and the railway guys for clearing the tracks for my early shift tomorrow, says George McFarlane. I think everything's kind of back to normal tomorrow, although they were saying there was to be a bit of snow at the East Coast. What about that super lady driving the Lothian bus, missing the U-turner? So there you are, chains and tyres. You've been watching too much ice road truckers. Says Rab, no, 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 I can go way back. My uncle told me he drove buses in 1928 and they stopped and put on their snow chains. And uh, the other thing that he did, sitting on a box, you couldn't do it now, health and safety, he used to go down to Leyland to collect chassis and you sat on an orange box and drove the chassis back completely unprotected from the weather with your chin strap and your peak cap and your big coat on. Glasgow black taxi drivers continue to get people home in the snow when all the others stopped, says Martin Morgan. In that case, we say a very, very big thank you to all the taxi drivers and all the people who volunteered to get the doctors and nurses into the hospitals. A very big thank you to all of you. In fact, I think we'll have a round of applause. Fantastic. A big round of applause for all of you guys. Not too much. It shakes the camera. In fact, what I could do is a round of silent applause. And that's rather good as well. And it doesn't shake the camera quite so much. Uh, Fiona Gibbons, dinky do, come and join us. Are you answering phone calls, says Nina? Yes, I'm sure we could take a phone call on Messenger. Um, and uh, Tony Kay, dinky do, Gary Pride, what do you make of the bus driver in Edinburgh swerving? That's what we've just been talking about. I thought you can't stand women drivers. Listen, it's nothing to do with me not standing things. I remember somebody came on today and said, Scotty hates and uh, Scotty doesn't hate at all, because that shuts off an avenue of learning. I just think women drivers used to be the untrained ones, rather dangerous, I always felt. So there you are. But uh, Peter Haynes, Nivag, Shitek has joined us. Come and join us, guys. You're very, very welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, if you've just joined us. And we are, of course, live on the big one. We're live on Facebook Live. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking about, the one everyone can get on their PCs, on their tablets, on their mainframes, all that sort of thing, on their telephones, whatever device or system you use. What do you work as, says Nina? Um, I work as me, Nina. I, uh, I uh, come on and I broadcast. Excellent stuff. I used to put chains on my grifter bike at Christmas when Santa got me one. Wedge Hashmi is watching. Wedge, come and join us. You're very, very welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClue, the one-stop broadcaster and first lord of the internet, broadcasting live throughout the world 
on Facebook Live, right? And it's just, we're only limited by the algorithm, right? If the algorithm limits us, then the ball does go up onto the slates. And we have to just share and share and share. So we're at the mercy of the algorithm. But having said that, let's get sharing as much as you possibly can. Dinky Doo says, Wedge, he's come and joined us. That is tremendous. Neil Tipping, you're watching Dinky Doo. Alexandra Wood says, hi, Scotty. Hi, Alexandra. Lovely to have you with us. I didn't know. My sister was talking to me tonight, and she was telling me that you can all see all the uh, messages going up on the screen as well so that's excellent now what we're discussing tonight how did you fare in the big freeze how did you fare in the big snow all right hopefully if you had to stay in you were watching scotty mcclue shows on facebook live or on youtube very very important at www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash scotty mcclue one Get yourselves on there. First time I've watched you, says Fiona Ramage. Oh, Fiona, welcome, welcome, welcome. I see. Where are you watching from? Should lorries have put winter tyres on like they do in Germany, says Martin. It's not letting me call, says Ryan. What will I do? I like your hat, big man. Dinky do, says Wedge. And uh, any more news about you going back on the radio, says Nivag Shvitek. What I'm going to do in the bag is um, I'm going to carry on talking to the top people in charge of radio because I had a gentleman the other day saying there's a big, big network that doesn't have anything at 10 o'clock at night and it's crying out for the Scotty McClue phone in. It shall be nameless at the moment, of course, but I shall speak to the bosses during the week and see if they're interested in having a network phone in at night. Even though we did a Sunday night. Scotty, I bought a loaf off eBay for 100 quid. Says Ian Walker, you need to use your loaf, Ian Walker. You weren't using your loaf at that. How's the process going, Scotty? About a phone-in, says Steve. We are talking and talking and talking to people all the time, Steve. They come back with all sorts of excuses. We don't really have any money, all that. And I say, it's not about the money. It's about the distribution. Let's see what we can come up with together. So let's get talking. The world has changed. How long are you on, till, says Wedge? Just one hour, Wedge. I have to finish at uh, 10 o'clock sharp. So we're only on for one hour. That was a lot of dough, says uh, Gary Crossan. Good one, Gary. Excellent jokes. Lol, says Nick Baldy. Um, you need to invest in a Peaky Blinders bonnet, Scotty. Nigel Bond is watching Dinky Do, one of our finest broadcasters. Get watching, everybody, and get sharing. We will have a share in about three or four minutes' time. Um, now, Angela Goodlett, you've joined us. That's fantastic. Uh, lots to talk about tonight. I want to know how you're all faring in the big freeze, in the big snow, in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. I was also looking at, you'll see a pamphlet that came through the letterbox just before Brexit. And uh, I've got it here. You'll probably be seeing it in reverse because the camera's round that way. Can you see that? Um, let me see what you can see. No, I think, yep, you're seeing that in reverse, aren't you? There we are. Yes, you are. You're seeing it about well, it's from HM government. The government believes that voting to remain in the European Union is the best decision for the UK. That's what was happening just before the referendum. Uh, what a difference the day makes. Hey, says Sophie Harrison. Hey, Sophie. Uh, no sun blessed in Scotland there. Oh, the sun blessed. We're all blessed in Scotland. And uh, where every one of us is a mother's pride, I am quite sure. Scotty, bring back the matrons and the nightingale wards, says Gary Cross. And yes, I think that would put a stop to a, a lot of these uh, vomity bugs, if you'll pardon the expression. I hope you're not having a late plate of wheat bangs as we're discussing this. But these um, bugs that hospitals get. When I was in the hospital in 1969 for an appendectomy, and uh, they had a big wooden floor that they wiped with disinfectant in the morning. They mopped it with disinfectant. The auxiliaries mopped the floor in the morning. And uh, there was a big row of beds. We were all in the same ward. And then they put up the big Victorian sash windows. And you got a good blast. And you were up at five in the morning. And you were away to your bed at eight, nine o'clock at night. So there you are. And then the nurse sat. She had a wee cup of tea and two digestive biscuits with a wee fish and chip hat sitting outside with the old night nurse. I've been home all week looking out the window. It's been magic, says Peter Martin. Scotty, code red meant no bread. Scotty, bring back 
Oh, sorry. Uh, what have we got here? Florence Sinclair. So there you are. Not Florence Nightingale. You're very welcome. I'd like to be in hospital with a Hattie Jakes type matron after me, says Stephen. Ooh, uh, Mrs. So there you are. And uh, would you have liked the late Kenneth Williams as your doctor? There we are. Or what about James Robertson Justice? You must pursue me. You must pursue me. There we are. James Muir's watching. You're very, very welcome. So excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Have you been home? Have you been off for the big freeze? Do tell. Get typing. Type, 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 type. Tap, 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 tap on your, um, your keyboards there. I've got mine in front of me here. Um, I've been on lactose-free milk all week, says Fiona Ramish. So have I, Fiona. I've been at the lactose-free. It's quite interesting in the hot chocolate. Um, disinfectant, whatever happened to that, to Ajax, says Rab. Well, it wasn't that that they used. I think it was, um, I think it was the other one, the, the, the one in the bottle, the sort of um, one that looks like whiskey. Uh, what's the meaning of life, Scotty? Why do you think we're all here? We're all here to watch the Scotty McClue show. That's the reason everybody was put on this earth. And now they have found the raison d'etre, because the Scotty McClue Show has come to you live on Facebook, on your personal message. So there you are. We are right here in front of you on your phones and your tablets and your home. When you're in the train, the buses, you can see Scotty McClue. And that gives the human race a raison d'etre. Excellent stuff. A big shout out to all the emergency services who worked at the big fees <coughs> and did such a fantastic job. Now, who would you blame? Some people were trying to politically blame our wonderful, wonderful Scottish government. Um, Scotland's never been so well looked after for uh, the fact that the lorries get stuck in the road. But should the lorries have been there in the first place? Very important. Uh, yes, I have to be off. It'll be good to get back to work. Scotty, I tried the goat's milk for the first time. There was no milk in the supermarket. It was magic. So there we are. Fantastic. I paid the young ones to shift the snow from my car. So there you go. Welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. Let's have more ha-has, more hearts, more dinky-doos, more tappity tappity tap Come on. Let's see some thumbs up and let's see some hearts for Scotty McClue, the world's top talk show with the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, live just until 10 o'clock, just for you, saying dinky do. You're the best, Scotty, says Wadge. So are you, Wadge. You are a top man. And uh, Scotty, I'm away to walk my polar bear, says Ian Walker. There you go. Yes, was it your polar bear that used to appear on the mint sweeties? Do you remember that? Uh, yes, excellent stuff. So there we are. So you go and get your polar bear walked. Now, I'm just looking at the time. It's just after a quarter past nine. That means a big share point. Can we all at this point share? I'm going to just move you to the side, right? So I could do that. And then I'm going to share. Um, so there we are. Live now. I shall put Scotty McClue is live now. Fantastic stuff. And have you seen some of the figures in these uh, Facebook videos? I think that is tremendous. There's one 9,277 of you watching. That's what we want. Um, so there we are. I called him a glazier. Roddy Morrison, the wonderful Roddy Morrison, a real top man, is watching. We had to use some of Agnes's breast milk for the tea during the week. For goodness sake, been the freezer since 1968. Gordon Stilling, you are a blether, but you're a fun Blether. What did you think of that young lady with that tremendous bit of bus driving this week on the old Frogston Road? Um, I was off for two days. Did you see the PM? I haven't seen the... Oh, no, I thought you meant, did I see the Prime Minister? Did you see the PM? I sent you, says James, earlier today. No, I haven't, James, but I will do. And if any of you, any of you got a messenger from me saying that you'd won some money, just blank it, block it, report it. Oh, that's not from me at all. Somebody must have done a wee bit of hacking. Alistair King, how's the snow, Scott? It's still nice and thick round about where we are. So there you are. So that's what's happening there. I'm just going to refresh the old Facebook page and then I am going to share. Can every single one of you share, 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 The Scotty McClure Show. Hi, Scotty. Dink you do, says Stephen Wright. Fantastic stuff. I think the Russians have caused this chaos 
says Ian. Ian, you and your conspiracy theories, you're an absolute shocker. Now, have you noticed that um, we've changed the page slightly? It's now Scotty McClue Live, just to distinguish from uh, the Scotty McClue page, right? You've got the Scotty McClue page, and then you've got Scotty McClue Live. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to share it now with everybody, guys. So um, here we go. A share in public so there that that's getting shared right now so if you can do the same that's wonderful all your groups and friends will get the Scotty McClue show live they will get the big one as we speak I'm also now sharing to the Scotty McClue page which is slightly different and I think this is sometimes why people have said oh I didn't know it was on oh, I'd have been watching all that sort of stuff because they don't realize there's more than one Scotty McClue page so uh, i'd better type in live now live now there we are live now and that's gone on to the scotty mcclue page so people that are in the scotty mcclue page can join us and um, miss you on the radio says wadge are you ever going and dab scotty uh, couldn't you get your own station going says kevin roberts kevin very funny you should say that this is being discussed with the big wigs as we speak people are desperate to get Scotty McClue on because it makes the radio station work and makes them very wealthy. Get back on here, says Wedge. Charmaine of Lothian Buses was a true hero of the highest caliber. Kept the heat and avoided the breaks. She deserves a community service award and a massive wage rise to all bus drivers, I say. Gordon Sterling, I could not back you more. I would like to see her get an MBE for that. I thought that was marvelous. A lovely, lovely bit of driving. And what a nice lady when she was interviewed in the national news. Just no side to her. She said, well, we're just sort of doing our job, you know. Wonderful stuff. Jim Gallagher's watching Dinky Doo. Charles McLaughlin, Ronnie Stevenson, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, sir. You are an absolute top man. I would love to meet you someday. And uh, hearing you loud and clear from the itchy ear islands in the South China Seas, is that not just fantastic, Ian Walker? Do you not just get about? I think that is wonderful. Now, what I'm doing, guys, I'm just going to share this right now with the Scotty McClue group. So you'll all see that come up. That's fantastic. Um, Mine Colin, who wanted to take over your show back in the day, does he still come on for a wee debate? He was fantastic. Do you remember Colin? There we are. And I think he appeared in the Scotty McClue video. That's tremendous. That sold thousands and thousands. Evening, Mr. Scotty, says Ronnie Stevenson. Nobody should forget Scotty, 9 till 10 every Sunday, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely, Steve. Just one more share. And then I promise me, every single one of you will get my undivided attention. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Excellent stuff. And uh, I'm just going to pop this up for the next group. Um, what I'll do is I'll put it into an international group. Uh, I think that's important. And uh, we'll see what comes up here. Share in the group. Oh, sorry, sorry. Don't think, don't think I'm neglecting you guys. I am not. And there it is there. <clears throat> so, lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Excellent. There we are. Now, that's coming up. And it's just streaming now guys wonderful stuff there it goes and everybody should be able to join us now that's posting there we go fantastic stuff and i shall also put live now live now there we are we message doesn't matter i don't need to be too fancy do i some people said i'm far too proper on social media at times like you to get everything just right so there you are right here we got here um nobody should forget us you're very diplomatic on facebook lives is nick baldy donna hotton's watching any more news about stv2 boss um they would be mad not to sign you up says murray ramage what a lovely thought murray yes absolutely that'd be very nice uh, do you watch TV box sets? The last one I watched was Brideshead Revisited. Tremendous stuff with old Sir Lance Olivier. I have to watch talking about actors of that era because people just look at you. They just stare at you. 
and say, well, it doesn't ring a bell with me, all that sort of stuff. And then you think, no, no, maybe I'm, you know, although I'm very, very young, maybe I'm getting on a little bit longer in the tooth. So I'll just put that up. I'll just put a share for you. I'll hit the caps button and go share. Very, very good. There we are. Share, share. There you are. You've got it three times. You can't go wrong. Right. Scotty, <coughs> it's got to be PC on here, but the radio, proper shock jock in an educational way. Do you know, I once had an advertiser come into the radio station. He said, yes, yeah, Scotty, we'll learn more from you than we did at the school. Is that not amazing? There you are. And the schools, the schools used to all watch Scotty McClue or listen to Scotty McClue, I should say, as well. Uh, Matthew Brown's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, East Coast or West Coast, says Ian Walker. It would be um, hopefully both coasts, Ian Walker. So there you are. Because, uh, as you know, Scotty McClue is known throughout the UK. So there we are. I do have that distinction. And now I'm known throughout the universe. But uh, we need to get the algorithm sorted on Facebook Live because there's no reason why two point, uh, sorry, 1.8 billion, nearly 2 billion people can't watch the Scotty McClue show just for one hour on a Sunday night. It's high value content and obviously it's very good for Facebook. Scotty, have you ever thought about doing a wee bit of modelling for the catalogues? Says Rab. Yes, absolutely. Um, I do bonnets and of course my beautiful hands. You know, I sometimes model my hands, that sort of stuff. Um, I remember how many people quit the fags on your advice, says Kevin Roberts. We did. We said, let's be um, smoke-free by 2003, something like that. Uh, Auntie Fanny and Uncle Dick say hi, says Martin. Absolutely, Scotty. Uh, <laughs> share, share, share. There you are, you see up there. I wonder if I can just manage to... Click the thing. Share, share, share. There we go. Fantastic. Right. Tell me how you've all been getting on. I want to know. Very important. Let's get it going back up again. There we are. And uh, Scotty is my favourite DJ. You're on tonight. Good morning, Vietnam. Robin Williams. Remember? Yeah, fantastic. Robin Williams. Now, there was a wonderful, wonderful comedian. So sorry when he passed on. Far, far too young. Remember the Dead Poets Society? Has anybody seen that as a film? When he leant forward and seize the day, seize the day. He was looking at the old guys. And uh, I can remember when I was young and I was in the school club. And we had a guy who was in his 80s. Um, used to come and see us and he'd been a top cricketer for Scotland. And I could see pictures of him as a young man. Um, you know, in his rugby jersey and all the rest of it. Amazing. So the time does fly. Did you ever go to the NEC Classic Car Show? I've been to a lot of classic car shows. Classic cars, as you well know, are my thing, along with diesel engines. So there we are. Now, there's a Jasmine somebody being a wee bit rude about me. So we'll just block her. And there you are, I can't remember, see her second name now, because she's blocked. So, Jasmine, you will never ever be heard of again on Facebook on Scotty McClue's show. There we are, because you were rude, and you were cheeky, and we don't allow that. Uh, so, there we are. Uh, yes, the classic cars. Why do you ask, Kevin, what's your favourite classic cars? I saw a little bit of Endeavour tonight, and that looked like an MG Magnet from the 50s. Can anybody remember what the Wolseley equivalent was and the Riley equivalent? There was the MG Magnet. What was the Wolseley equivalent and the Riley equivalent? All right. Um, lost another good actor yesterday, Scotty. David Ogden um, played Major Charles Winchester in MASH. Major Winchester. Yeah, I loved MASH. It was fantastic. Loved all the sarky comments and these surgeons working away in very, very challenging conditions and repairing people who had been blown up and things like that. Incredible. Excuse me a second. We'll just have a very, very quick comfort break. There we are. Excellent stuff. And uh, give myself a wee mop down. The studio is roasting tonight. Mary T. Warner's watching Dinky Do. Stephen Stewart. Rap Hill Lada. Lada. Oh, I thought you went la -di da Sorry, you're saying Lada. No, 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 no. Jasmine, you're a bigger one, says Bernadette. So there you are. Oh, dear, dear girls. Come on, settle down. Old Fords or MG for me. We're talking Morris Oxford. No, Kevin, this was not the Morris Oxford. Now, in badge engineering, what would the range be 
for the Morris Oxford. What others did you get in that stable when they did BMC badge engineering? All right, do you tell. Uh, so there we are. Hi, Scotty. How far back can you go with your Fords? Can you go back to the Mark I Cortina? Can you go back to the Anglia? Can you go back to the very early Ford Capri and the Ford Classic? We're talking things like 1962, 63, that kind of thing. Can you go back to a Mark I console? There you are. I can. And a Zephyr and a Zodiac. So there we are. Uh, we know what a something. Get rid of Jasmine. Jasmine's gone. You'll, she'll never, ever, ever get to watch Scotty McClue again. She's gone. She's blocked. Finished. End of. So there we are. Hi, Scotty. This is John Robertson. Hi, John. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, if you've all just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. We are broadcasting live right across the globe on Facebook Live. Come and join us and have a chit chat. So there we are. Uh, N Spring. Hi. Hi, N Spring. Lovely to have you with us. Dave Hall is watching. Thank you, N Spring says hello. Hello, N Spring. And uh, Morrison Minor says Rab Hill. No, no, that was a boy that was at school with you. No, no. You're thinking of the Morris Minor. Can you tell me who invented the Morris Minor? Right? Uh, the Ford Capri Classic. Yes, the old classic Steve Burroughs. You're right. Going back, you'll be looking at maybe 1962, 63. Uh, William Tong. Sorry, who are you? I am Scotty McClue, William Tong, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. I thought I'd told you that. Been broadcasting across the globe for many, 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 many years. So there you are. You can check it out. And uh, you check it out on the internet. Check it out on your Google. Scotty McClue. S-C-O-T-T-I-E. M small c. Capital C. L-U-E. The Mark I Fiesta in the early 70s is my bag. My favourite car was the Talbo Sunbeam. So there we are. Now when you say Talbo Sunbeam, are you talking the later one of the... Um, the Roots Group and what have you. Are you talking that? Talbo? Was Peugeot involved with Talbo? I'm trying to remember back there. The little sunbeams because you had much earlier sunbeams. You had the Alpine. You had the Sunbeam Rapier, which was a 1725 Roots car. Very nice. Uh, Scotty, what happens with the Irish border? May still hasn't got an answer. We need Sinn Féin MPs to take their place in Westminster. Well, yes, they should take their place in Westminster. Hi, Scotty. Late on parade, but I'm here. What have I missed, sir? Says Dave Harley. You have missed the most fantastic half hour of the most fantastic program in the world. It's as simple as that. Nothing to beat Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Doo. And we will build and build and build and build our audience. Build and they will come. So there we are. Um, so that's the Irish border, yes. But what I think, Mark One Escort, John Robertson, you're quite right. Very, very nice car. Is he gone as says Kevin Roberts? Yes. Now, I'll tell you his story. Is he gone as? We'll come back to the Irish border as we do. But is he gone as was a friend of a good friend of mine. And my good friend asked Alec Izzigonis to come over for lunch one Sunday. And he said, I can't. I'm working on a car. And he said, well, bring your stuff with you, Alex. He said, you've got the big office upstairs. Have lunch with us, and then you can go up and work if you want. Anyway, Alex Izzigonis came for Sunday lunch, and then he went upstairs to work on his latest car. And he came down, and my friend said to him, how are you getting on with the car, Alex? And he said... Oh dear, he says, I'm, I'm just trying to get the power to weight ratio sorted out. I've even tried putting the engine sideways in the front. And that was, folks, wait for it, the Mini. That was the start of the Mini. It did the Morris Minor in 1948, and he did the Mini in, I think it was 1958 or 59. Uh, yes, Scotty, bought before Chrysler and Peugeot took over. So excellent stuff. Remember the, the early Sunbeam Alpine? The, the sports car. I run some of the sales pages here on Facebook and you just popped up through my pages. That's why I was asking, says William Tongue. Excellent, William. Well, if you want to use Scotty McClure to help your sales pages, do let me know and we'll come to some little arrangement or something like that. You're very, very welcome because if you look at the Scotty McClure programs, we're getting thousands upon thousands 
of viewers. So there you have. This is effectively the new television. I know I'm not the greatest oil painter you've ever seen. I don't look like a Rubens or a Joshua Reynolds or whatever, but this is what I look like. This is the way I am. So if you're getting Scotty McClue, you're getting me talking to you and saying dinky do. Very, very warm welcome to you, William Town. Uh, parents brought my first car, Scotty. I was very grateful, but hard to look cool, age 17, in an Austin Maestro. Do you remember that? And you could get, could you not get the talking Maestro? It's one of the first cars that actually talked to you. And we wondered if Vauxhall might bring out the Laughing Cavalier. So there you are. Uh, heard there's a new law out. You can't play the squeeze box at the weekend, says Ian Walker. Well, that's one. Shall we bend the rules if nobody lets on, Ian? So there you are. Um, if you support SNP, we'll have, a lot, we'll have lots to talk about, says Harry Nulls. Harry, I'm apolitical. I'm non-political. But I obviously support Scottish independence from an economic point of view and also from all this Brexit rubbish. We need to be well, well clear of that. Look at it sensibly. Uh, it's 48 to 52% from a 70% turnover. There was a lot of... Um, People misconstruing the truth at the time. There was a lot of duff gen, shall we say. So a government should not be acting in that. Neither the EU government nor the uh, British government actually want it. And they're just trying to appease the Brexiteers, who are actually the snowflakes and who will disappear like snow off a dike. You'll not be able to find a Brexiteer if it all goes wrong. Um, well, are we talking the MG or the Vanden Pla? Now then, Kevin Roberts, what era are we talking? You see, because Vanden Pla were actually originally coach builders who did um, models for uh, for certain manufacturers. So you could have got a Daimler Vanden Pla. In the early days, you would have got a Bentley Vanden Pla. I think a Rolls Royce Vanden Pla. You had all these wonderful, wonderful coach builders that did a lot of the big cars. Um, so they are. What's your views on gender? says John Frank Hullhouse. We like gender, John Frank. So there you are. You're very, very welcome, whoever you are. To me, you're a human being, and that's the only judge I would be doing. My first car was a Vauxhall Cavalier. Which model was it? Was it one of the early ones? There were some super early Cavaliers. Yes, Scotty, why does the bread and milk go in a snowstorm? Well, Dave, I think two reasons. One, perhaps there's been delivery problems to the shops. And the other thing is that the greedies get in. Here, get all that bread while you can, in case we get snowed in. Never mind anybody else, just we're the only people that matter. And that's the stuff, and they do the same with the milk. And I was thinking today, I actually put it on Facebook. You'll see there, do we need bread and milk? Right, do we need bread and milk? So there you are. And um, if the sales gentleman's still watching, if you've got contacts in Facebook, how would we go about de-restricting the show so that Facebook get the value out of the Scotty McClue show and we can build our audience? If you know about that, William Tongue, please do let me know. So there we are. Uh, my first car, the Cavalier. So there we are. What's your opinion on Theresa May? Well, Harry, I don't really give an opinion on uh, on senior politicians because it would be just an opinion but um you know a lot of people i think the backstabbers are waiting very very closely in the wings until the danger point is passed and then they'll see which way the wind blows and then they'll go in and see if they can take the job off theresa may but they're behaving themselves at the moment but they have shown their hand so we know who the backstabbers are and the backstabbers know who they are the night of the long knives is coming all that sort of thing but in actual fact there's terrific if, if the government are meaning to procrastinate they've done an excellent excellent job it's about 20 months isn't it since the eu uh, referendum and we've got here the government believes that voting to remain in the European Union is the best decision for the UK protecting jobs a stronger economy and providing security there it is upside down you'll not be able to read it but that was what of course popped through the letter box really like your hat Scotty says Chris Simpson thanks Chris Scotty I've been watching Cara SOS and the History Channel tremendous Nicola Sturgeon blames the HDV drivers no that's a generalization. Nicola Sturgeon does not blame the HGV drivers. What she's saying is 
why were non-essential trucks on the roads that were blocked during a red alert, right? If the police tell you not to drive, if there's a red alert, if the television explains what that means and the radio explains what that means, what are you doing on the road if it's non-essential? So don't come back at Nicola Sturgeon. Right, so there you are. Hi, pleased to meet you, says Dave Rolly. You too, Dave. It's always lovely to meet all my viewers on here. And uh, tremendous stuff. Scotty, I was stuck for three days with the missus. It was murder. Going to paint the room door. Uh, we empty out your drawers and throw away stuff you don't need. I hate snow, says Ian. So there you are. Scotty, what's your favourite car? I rather favour an old Mark II Escort. Yes, now they were excellent. The Mark II Escort with the square back. Did you not get that one in uh, in an XR3 or was that the later one? They are on an XR, XR3. You know, there's the XR2 and the XR3. Uh, they were sent out with a red alert, says Mark Graves. Well, yes, I'm sure some of them were, but you were saying they were sent out. So it wasn't the truckers' fault. It was the haulage companies had sent them out during an amber alert. There we are. As an ex-truck driver, Scotty, I tell you, it's greed drivers get sent out in all conditions at all times. Stephen, the greedies, yes, we're not blaming the truckers themselves. The RS2000, says Nivagsvitek. You are correct, Nivagsvitek. It is, of course, the RS2000. Right, folks, uh, can we have another share, 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 share? Share, share. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook just for you saying dinky-doo. We've only got minutes. We've got about uh, 20 minutes left of this wonderful program. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a second of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. You miss something very special just for you. Are you a Brexiteer? If so, do you think Theresa May is honouring the referendum vote? Now, no, I'm not actually a Brexiteer, Dave, to be quite honest with you. Um, and I don't think she is honouring the referendum vote, because why should she? It was 48% to 52%. In other words, it's a very, very close call. So the media is wrong to say that Britain voted to leave the EU. Britain did not vote to leave the EU. There we are. Of course, his famous William is Scotty McClue, says Peter Martin. Achawe, says Gary Pride. Achawe to what, Gary? Uh, most bad driving comes from what time pressures, says Kevin Roberts. Correct. William Tongue, never heard of him. William Tongue, you need to, if you've heard of uh, a search engine, you need to pop Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E, -E, into your search engine, and then you will have heard of me. I've only been around for 40 years, but uh, you will have heard of me. The phone ends as Rab Hill. Gordon Hay is uh, watching. Fantastic. And uh, William, you're getting your education tonight. Um, he knows his stuff. He tells it how it is, says Peter Martin. Thank you, Peter, for explaining to, uh, to William. Excellent stuff. This hour goes quick, says Steve Burrows. Steve, it does. It just flies. It absolutely flees in. So there we are. I'll tell you what, William Tong, get yourself on to uh, Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Put that in, the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And uh, I'm also an author. You'll see my book, uh, Deliver Us From Evil. Uh, you can listen to chapter one there. Uh, are you a roundhead or a cavalier? Scotty's is in Walker. I've never actually played in one of these period dramas, Ian. So there you are. Uh, when did you last see your father? Remember that one? They are a wonderful painting. Uh, good morning from uh, Robertson in the southern highlands of New South Wales. Stay warm, says Ali Haining. Ali, lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us from New South Wales in Oz there in Australia. Tremendous stuff. Uh, what's your views on the Nissan Cherry, says Chris Simpson. I love the little cherry. I can remember them. In uh, Navy Blue was a great Datsun. They were actually the Datsun Cherry, I think, in those days. Am I right? So there you are. And did you get a little estate, a cherry estate? I think you did. They were very, very light. Uh, how do you not ken who Scotty McClue is? He's a world-class blether, says Gary Pride. Correct, Gary. Um, I reckon he's a Jacobite, Ian Walker, says Stephen Wearmouth. So there you are. Well, let's just put it that I don't refer to the 15 and the 45 as rebellions. I refer to them as risings. And I told you I knew a man who knew a man who... Uh, 
whose great grandfather remembered Bonnie Prince Charlie walking about Rome. And Bonnie Prince Charlie died in uh, 1786, if I remember right. He was a poor old soul, and he exiled himself to Rome, and he is buried in the Vatican in the wall. But I don't think that's why they sing Bonnie Charlie's new at war. Uh, so there you are. My parents were lied to in the referendum about the EEC. They said there would be no loss of sovereignty, and it morphed into the EU. It isn't, isn't it just federalism through the back door, says Dave Rowley. Douglas McPherson, good evening, my good fellow. Good evening, my good fellow, Douglas McPherson. What do you think of the Rovers, says Ryan William Rea. Uh, when you say the Rovers, do you mean the Blackburn Rovers? Or uh, which Rovers are we talking about? Um, so there we are, bang on, and called 100A at one point, says Kevin Roberts. So there you are, the 100A, fantastic. Once everyone voted for Brexit, all the Brexiteer voters went scurrying under their stones. They're not shouting so loud. No, I suspect that we're not leaving the EU, um, apart from perhaps in name, just to appease the last few Brexiteers that haven't run away. So there you are. The darts and cherry dissolved in front of your eyes. Well, the thing is, Charles McLaughlin, uh, a lot of cars went into powder in those days. Uh, you don't see rust in cars. The Blackburn Rover's fantastic. I can remember that. Yes, and um, I can remember the wonderful big stand as well. Excellent. Uh, Scotty, there's monks buried in the walls of Pluscarden Abbey. A very scary place. I know Pluscarden Abbey, a very dear friend of mine. Um, is buried up near there. Uh, so there you are. He's actually buried in Kinloss Abbey. So there you are. Piscardon's not far away. The Rover P6. Oh, fantastic. The P6, yes. Now, the P5 was the Rover 105s, wasn't it? The 75s to the 105s. And I think, if I'm right, these Rovers, lovely, lovely cars. I dreamt of having one. My friend had one that he sold for £15. And uh, gorgeous, two-tone grey red leather seats and there were beautiful things you should hear them ticking over tremendous and the 105r i think was the last one and then in came the other ones uh you are you sweating says benji am i benji sorry i'll give myself a wee mop down just bear with me there you go that's sorted that uh-huh quite hot under the old mcclue bonnet i have to say um i remember my dad having a battered old allegro they always came in a dodgy shade of brown. It was a beautiful chocolate brown. So I had one. I had the Vanden Pla. There we are. I've done 6,000 miles a year with the leather seats. Police cars, says Mark Graves. Yes, the Rovers. Fantastic they were. And then there was the SD1s. Um, but there was the 2000 shape. Was that the P5? Or was that the P6? Oh, no. Hang on. Was the P5 the big coupe? The one that the government had that Thatcher got rid of? That was one of her even worst decisions, was getting rid of these old rovers. But she didn't think she looked too elegant climbing in and out of them. Pardon me, Benji, Ben, Franklin, Dinky Doo, welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. And to you, Dinky Doo, just a wee sip of water. Mm. Oh, that's bliss. Because as you know, a couple of weeks ago I had the lurgy. So I'm getting better. Thanks, Benji, for pointing that out. Very much appreciated. Your phone's cut off, says Rab. No, no, Rab, the phone is on. So there you are. So you should be able to get a message through. But if anybody got a message from me saying they'd won some money, just ignore it. It wasn't from me. I can tell you that straight. Um, wonderful stuff. Uh, searched you. Still don't know who you are, says William Tung. Have you put Scotty McClue into Google, William Tung? And have you looked on the um, have you looked on the YouTube's? Have you looked on LinkedIn? Have you looked on the Scotty McClue website? www.scotty-mcclue.com. So there you are. Uh, everybody, by the way, if you're feeling flush and you've got a spare pound, two pounds, three pounds, five pounds, fifty pounds, stick it into GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty-McClue. And uh, or also you can PayPal me. And that helps us with a bit of advertising for Facebook. Um, you know, it'd be quite good to do that. Because I've put thousands into broadcasting, as you all know, and would do the same. Scotty, you banger! So Steph McIlvaney, you banger. Fantastic. Vauxhall Cresta. Yes, Nivag Shvitek. The Vauxhall Cresta. Now, there were several Crestas again. 
if you go back to the late 1950s, say from, I don't know, roughly 56 to 59, 61, that sort of thing, there was a beautiful, beautiful crest, a very American looking, gorgeous bodywork, and you could polish them up with the uh, rocket type, rocket type mirrors. Remember the mirrors like that? And they had them like that. Well, that was a good one. That was a good dramatic thing, the mirrors like that. And you could polish them up, and they had the white wall tires. And then there was uh, a lovely crest, a more square one that they did in black, the Vauxhall Cresta. Uh, Scotty, look you up in the net. Uh, whatever you do, don't try it, says Ian. <laughs> we could be here all night on Thatcher, says Dave Harley. No, I don't think we'll waste a good program on Thatcher because I'm afraid I am not her greatest fan because of what she did to the miners. So there you are. Didn't like that at all. She could have gone out and talked to them. So there you are. You boring bro, says Benjamin Franklin. So what I'll do is, Benjamin Franklin, you have now disappeared. There we are. Block Benji. Benjamin Franklin will never see Scotty McClure's boring again. He's gone. Uh, sold to the land to Trafalgar House, owned by husband Dennis, says Mark Graves. That's right. And uh, on the shipyards as well. So there you are. And uh, Scotland got robbed. You just said you never sent anyone a message asking for money. Hold on, you've just asked people to donate. Seems dodgy. No, William Tongue, nothing ever, ever, ever dodgy about Scotty McClue. So you'll need to take that back, big man. There you are. Uh, somebody got a message during the week saying that they'd won 50k. That was the difference. And I was saying that was nothing to do with me. I've asked for money for PayPal and GoFundMe. Get yourself on to GoFundMe. What it sounds like, William, you're needing to educate yourself and then come on and ask about me. That's like saying you've never heard of outer space, so you don't believe it exists because you've never heard of it. Do you see what I'm talking about? They are. Scotty McClure is massive, worldwide, global superstar. That's me. Mwah. I might just seem like Mr. Normal Guy. That's because I am Mr. Normal Guy. So there you are. But I also happen to be a global superstar. Nothing you can do about that. So there you are. I'm reporting you, says William Town. Good. You report me and see where that gets you, William Tongue, and come back with your head in your hands and apologize. The world is agog. We are waiting on your apology as we speak. Right, excellent. Bye-bye, Benji, says Dave Harley. Yes, he's gone nearly lights out, says Ian Walker. Oh, a good long bit yet, Ian Walker. Don't try and hurry me away. William, why report, says Mark Graves. There you are, William. They're all talking to you. You can set up a tech service for payments, Scotty, says Kevin Roberts. Can you indeed? So there we are. We like that. Boring the social. Ha 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 ha. William Tong, you're only bored if you don't open your mind. Open your mind and you will never ever be bored watching or listening to Scotty McClue. This is new to you. You've got to get into it, right? Very, very important. But nobody has ever called me boring. William has to go. Says Charles McLaughlin, shall we block William, Charles? Right, folks, uh, advice, please. Do we block William? Right, very important. <coughs> I have contacts, says William. Good. Well, use them to benefit Scotty McClue and to benefit Facebook and to benefit the world, William Tongue. Do some good, I say. Use your contacts in a positive way. Scotty, you'll find yourself reported to the squeeze box, please. Jim Clark's watching, Dinky Doo. We'll go to Specsavers if your contacts don't work, says Mark Graves. Yes, says Martin Warrigan. Evening, my friends, says Jim Clark. Good evening to you. OMG, says Veronica. Block William, says Charles. A lot of websites fund bandwidth by text and charities do the same, says Kevin Roberts. Right, we'll look into that, Kevin. Uh, yes, yes, we're 30% of our total we're raising 1500 pounds on gofundme and we've got 530 in there already so we're over 30 percent may as well block him scotty he's just talking a load of clatter says stephen wright uh, yes block him says steve burrows more advice folks do we block william right very very important or is he a positive force for good on facebook the facebook police says martin Morrigan. I think we have a few strange ones on tonight, Scotty, says Dave Harley. I think depending on the algorithm, Dave, 
and who gets invited, who gets to see the Scotty McClure show. You see, by rights, 1.8 billion should be able to watch this right now. And that may yet happen because we're high value content. So there you are. Ali Haining in my 51 years I've lived in three countries and never seen a good honest government. Scandals galore including the one here in Australia. So there we are says Ali. You're some man. Respect Scotty. Uh, quicker you're back on radio and TV the better. Excellent. I think this will be a wonderful show on television on a Friday night for say half an hour. Something like that. William Tung says, what a weirdo. Are you talking about yourself, William? Shall we block William? Here he goes. Oh, block William. William, you'll never, ever hear from William again. Bye, William. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. There we are. In fact, what we'll do, we'll give William a cheerio on the squeeze box. Okay. There we are, we've blocked William, he's had a cheerio. William, bite your tongue, no point in talking to him, he's gone. You never hear from him again, the ballad of William Martin. He's gone, the ballad of William, he got cut off by Scotty, and we all said a proud cheerio to anybody. Fantastic. Um, I'm sure, um, what have we got, says Mark, the ballad of William, no, 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 the box, come back, William, says Ian. <laughs> Guys, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome to the World's Top Talk Show. You're watching Scotty McClure, the World's Top Broadcaster and First Lord of the internet saying dinky do to every single one of you. Nice one, Scotty. They try to take Scotty on, but they will not win, so dinky do to them, says Neil Tipping. I know, Neil, you and I saw a good few of them off when we were down the road. Neil Tipping, one of the finest wizards you could ever want. See what he caused, says Peter Martin. Yes, he, he meant I got the squeeze box out. A man with contacts that can't spell weird. A bit of the heart of thinking, I think. Says Kevin Roberts. Yeah, well, he's gone, Kevin. Gone. Never hear of him again. The squeeze box send off, says Dave Harley. Yes, he got squeezed box. He got squeezed off the Scotty McClue show. His box got squeezed. Fantastic stuff. Right, there you go. Ian Walker, you need to embrace the box, says Stephen Wearmouth. Ian Walker needs to embrace his missus. Uh, phone William, says Rab Hill. Rab, he can't hear it. He's gone. Yes, nice one, everybody says. So there you go. So William has gone. Did we do the right thing? Should we unblock William? Right? You decide, guys. This is your show. I am but a catalyst for you. Very, very important. So there we are. He got the squeeze box send off. Can I have more um, hearts, please? And more thumbs up? And uh, and more things like that. Lol, Scotty, you're hilarious, says Ian Walker. <coughs> Pardon me. You're pretty funny yourself, Ian. Of course. Tremendous. But this show, absolutely amazing tonight. This is show number 77, guys. So we've done 77 one-hour shows on this fantastic broadcast platform. That is Facebook, Facebook Live. So there we are. Scotty McClure Live and Scotty McClure Page. A catalyst of chaos. No, there's never been any chaos in a Scotty McClure show yet, Ian Walker's. It's hardly likely to start now. Unblock him, Scotty, and get his hopes up. Then block him again, says Stephen Wearmouth. Stephen Wearmouth, County Durham. There you are. When I look at County Durham, when I look at all these old medieval castles you've got round there, what have you got? You've got, um, is there not Durham Castle? And uh, I know there's Durham Jail. And uh, Bramspeth, Bramspeth Castle. Have you ever heard of that one, Stephen Wearmouth? Bramspeth, yes, and Brandon, Brandon Village. Um, no, no, keep him blocked, says Steve Burrows. Yes, yes, block him. That's what we say. Excellent stuff. Now, did you want a wee number on the squeeze box? So there you are. If you want to keep coming on, that's absolutely fine. I'll give you a number of the squeeze box just to say hi. Very, very important. So you see if we get it up the right way. And uh, that's me. That's me. That's me. And uh, unblock him for a price. Yes. 
if he puts if he puts a thousand pounds into Scotty McClure's GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure, then we'll look at unblocking him. How about that? So there you are. Um, hi, Scotty. Just for Ian Walker. So there we are. Right. Veronica, what are you doing next month, says Mark Graves. Rab says, can you squeeze me, Scotty? I don't ask for much. Who is much? I see you've got a capital letter. There's obviously somebody's name. I hope it's not in code. <laughs> Another great show, Scotty. It does go quick, though. I thought William was going to be told to blow his nose till the pressure equalises. Could you use your old sayings on here? Yes, I suppose I can. William, stick your head up your backside and blow your nose till the pressure equalises. That's what we say. Fantastic stuff. Oh, gaze the para handy tunes, as Ian. No, 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 no. You don't call the shots on here, Ian Walker. I do. So there you go. And uh, pull the plug out of that squeeze box, <laughs> says Kevin Roberts. And uh, Nick Baldy's watching, reminds me of my days in Greenock, uh, says Mark Graves. Fantastic stuff. Exquisite playing tonight. But why the daft expression on your puss? That's what's known as the accordionist smile, Gordon Sterling. It's actually very difficult to uh, play the accordion and look absolutely normal. That's why Jimmy Shand managed it. He'd got that lovely deadpan expression on when he played and Andy Stewart one time tried to make him laugh and he said to him afterwards didn't I do that son because you'll put me off my coont so there you go so there you are fantastic see you <coughs> excuse me see you for your next show tomorrow night Scotty same time is it says Stephen Wearmouth Steve Burroughs says yes yes and um, a few of the whiskers says Ian Walker I've got to dash we're out of time. I shall sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of winter, say no revoir and a cheery o. This is Scotty McClure saying to every one of you, have a most fabulous week. Thank you for watching tonight. Spread the word. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue on Facebook Live just for you. Sing Dinky Doo on Sunday nights at nine o'clock sharp for one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment just for you. Bless you all and Dinky Doo.